Good morning. Right, we are back. I'm back of holiday and I'm buzzing. The joiners have been on this job and put the joist on. Today we are going to be focusing building across this steel. I have got a slight early day today, so we're going to see how much we can get done. At the moment, I'm just setting a corner up here and then eventually it's going to be two cores of brick first because that is going to get us back to ties and then we're going to put a block on. And then, um, this is our truss here. As you can see, just pop around here, you can see the truss. There we go, so that will be that block will be hidden. And then 150 mil higher than this block, we're gonna have a tray detail. All right, let's get some bricks laid. Okay, so it's just gone about half 11. I had to go get some wheat holes and things like that. I am actually gonna put the tray for the, um, the lean-to roof actually a course higher. That means I can put my tray and my, um, my tire wires out this course. So that's gonna work really nice. Little side note, my mate Chris from, where's he from? Burton, not Burton, Manchester way. Manchester, yeah. Manchester way. Sick note, yes bro. He made these for me, some mortar stands, some compost stands, and I tell you what, they are mint. I mean, I mean, look at that. They are solid, they are absolutely solid, and you can get two scaffold boards through there, so you can kind of uh, use uh, Collison set up with the scaffold boards. They are absolutely mint. So, Check him out on Instagram. I'll leave his Instagram in the description or I'll put it up now, okay? Check him out because these, these stands are mint and you could easily have a little business making them. Making them. So, hit him up because, oh, they're sick. <laughs> Sam, right, let's do some laying. I hate some of the comments you get on these videos, you know. Oh, the bruised a lot, mate. I know. There's bricklayers and there's bricklayers. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Right, fuck Calm down, bro. It's such a good thing that like, you don't give a shit, because you imagine really if you retaliated. Oh, yeah. You know, man. The amount of cancel calls that have come for you. I've got sick note on my side, bro. Yeah, but oh, bro. <laughs> I've got sick note. You take the dominant world, bro. Yeah. My steel is here and right in the way is this window. So we're going to be moving this window over to this mark here today. So it's a pretty simple job, however, it's just going to be a bit annoying. First of all, I need to free up this lintel, so I'm going to have to take off all these bricks here. 
and now I'm going to have to go inside, prop the wall plate maybe a little, because obviously the wall plate is sat on this lintel, smooth out and still sort of cut down there to form my new window reveal. And then I have another window reveal just there. So I'm gonna to have to tooth out that brickwork and just make everything pretty. So although it's like an easy job, it's just gonna be a really faffy job. And we need to work inside and the customer has not tidied their room. It's full of just crap. So that's going to be annoying. Anyway, we move, right, let's crack on. So I don't have to go inside because have a look inside room. You see inside room, but without being okay, too yeah, nosy. Um, it's yeah. full of stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill all these blocks with this to create my window reveal inside without having to go inside. And I'm gonna try and take these blocks off from the outside. So I know it's plasterboard and inside, so that should save a lot of mess. And then when I get inside, I should just be able to cut the plasterboard with a knife. And hey presto, you've got a window. Hello, so we're inside, we've sorted this room out. Um, we were meant to do this on Friday. I told the customer over the weekend to move everything, but they didn't. So I've just moved everything in the room, dust sheets up. Hopefully this will hold back some of the dust. I'm going to cut this down here with a multi-tool, get this board out, and then we're going to smash this bulkhead out, find the lintel, take the blocks out, and just slide everything over, lovely. Hopefully it won't take too long. So, we're going to crack on, and yeah, let's do it. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, do what you want. Hello. So we have slid the window along. We've roughly fixed it, but I still need to pull it up. We've toothed out all of our brickwork here, which is cool. And we're going to obviously fill in that little gap there. At the moment, we're just doing all the block work, throwing plenty of ties out to make sure everything gets caught. Eventually, this window will be taken out and replaced for a new one, but it's just like temps obviously people are still living here so you kind of got to put it back right don't you do yeah you have right? yeah yeah hold on. you're falling a bit <laughs> you're falling off <laughs> you absolutely don't fall bro you're my cameraman yes yes <laughs> so i think it's gone two o'clock now bit of a slow day yeah but we move so we're just bricking up the window itself Hopefully we'll just be able to slide it back in tonight and just leave it and then bolt it all or screw it all back to the wall tomorrow. Need to put some splits on there. I'm going to take this brick up, brickwork up to lintel height, that brickwork up to lintel height, dob the lintel on, and then hopefully we should be laughing. However, I do think Drew it's going to be a bit of a late one. Yeah, we'll be stopping out a bit, won't we? <laughs> it's all right. It's how do you feel about that? <laughs> I got to say, bro. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, right yeah. home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You best get a bus though if you don't like it. Ooh. Oh, we move, bro. We move. We move.
shape. We did get the window open and formed, put our cavity closures in, and we actually did throw the window in, but we were just, it was just a bit late last night, so we just didn't do any filming, we were busy. However, today we are fitting the window properly, but it is only gonna be in for like two or three weeks because they are getting a new window. So we are gonna throw this window in now, and yeah, then we'll be on some brickwork. So let's go. Right, so me and Drew have just fitted this window. We've just got to wait for some silicon or mastic, just so we can mastic all around, get it watertight until it is actually replaced for a brand new window in a couple of weeks. Um, that was really easy. There's nothing to fit in windows. I mean, I'm no window fitter, but I've never done it before, but I reckon it's all right. <laughs> but yeah, so now me and Drew, we're just going to get a course over here and then we're going to be blasting on this brickwork finally finally stretch out and get a few down. So, right, let's crack on. Six hit guy. I'm just about to install my cavity tray in a couple of courses for my step trees. When you have a lean-to roof like this, you normally install um, step trays or cavity trays, just in case any moisture that comes onto this roof, if it penetrates that brickwork, at least the water will back out. So, just like I did when I set my cavity tray and weed poles over there. I'm gonna do some block work here because all this is gonna be hidden. I did use bricks for a little bit, but don't matter. Uh, my first step tray. There you go. So you see that mark? I'm gonna have felt and lat on here. So about 150 higher than this brick, one, two. So I'll probably have my first weed pole out there and my tray come in here and then it'll step step up again and then come along um, just to create like a little like waterfall down the cavity not that they ever work i've actually not got proper step trays i'm actually using 450 dpc but it's all the same difference although someone will call me out for it Sad. so basically they're racking back like this you can see how they're all stepping down slowly slowly each one has got plenty of overlap okay my lead detail is going to go in about 150 higher so they'll probably go in there 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 my lead detail's got to go in there so this is just going to be a bit of a trough so if any moisture hits this or hits above sorry and gets into the cavity it'll come down it'll fall into this trough here which all have an upstand and it'll go down 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 all the way down, 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 out of this wheat pole here. So I'm going to build all the bricks in now and throw just an extra couple of wheat poles in every, maybe every second upstand. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I have tackled this step tray because I didn't have anything actually for it. So kind of a DIY step tray, but it'll work. Hopefully. Rising up like a phoenix ass I'm tired of bush down the ground Morning, it's a different day, but let's review what we've done over the last few days. We moved the window, which was really good. We blasted down here, built on that steel, and then we built on this steel here. Use this as a profile and set out most, just pop over here, most of our step trays. I don't know if you can see. So we're going to be back here in a couple of days, but this video has taken way too long already. So this is going to be part one of building on the steels. So Sam, like, subscribe, comment, all that shit. Follow me on Instagram because I upload daily there. Yes, yes. See you in a bit.